guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the last video of 2019. I can't believe we've come so far into the year and this is the final, final video of 2019 and if you've seen the previous video, you should know and also from the title of this video, you should know that this is the favorite makeup products of 2019, the hits of 2019, the one uh, with all the products that had my heart in this year and surprisingly, there are a lot of new products. Actually, there's new products in every category except like just one or two old favorites. Everything in this video is going to be new favorites. Uh, so I'm really excited to dive into all of this. But if you are not already subscribed to my channel, you've not already joined this family, then you definitely should do that. If you're interested in beauty and makeup related stuff, that's what we do here. So click on that big red subscribe button down below and also on the bell icon right next to it so that you're notified every Sunday when I upload a new video. And now very quickly, let's dive into the favorites of 2019. Okay, since I have a lot of makeup lying over here, we are gonna quickly dive into this and let's start with the first product over here, starting with the way I do my makeup, like my face routine, then my eyes and then my lips. Uh, the first product I have over here is the Chambord Geneva Anti Shine Primer. I do absolutely love this primer. They sent this to me in PR, but this is not a biased opinion. I did mention the foundation, which was also sent to me by their company, or which I did not end up liking in my misses of 2019. But the primer, which was the main goal of their PR kit, the new launch of 2019 totally has my heart. It blends so beautifully into your skin. You just have to take a little bit and it blurs your pores out. It takes away all the shine from your skin. So it's great for oily skin girls, but it also is so smoothing and so blurring for your pores that your makeup sits flawlessly over it and makes your makeup last a really, really long time. So everything about this primer is great. Also, this primer has no silicone in it. So it's great for your skin, does not clog your pores. And uh, Chambord is a cruelty free brand. So that's also a big, big plus. Next, diving into foundations of 2019. Uh, I got a comment on my last video saying, please do not mention Fenty Beauty in your favorites video. Mention something apart from that and I literally laugh because I know in every single favorites video, in every single tutorial, I use the Fenty Beauty foundation because I absolutely love it. But unfortunately, I've totally run out of that foundation this year and haven't been able to get my hands on it since then. And there are two new foundations, one new and one old which I've really really loved this year. The first foundation which is also a new launch of 2019 is the Nykaa Skin Shield Anti-Pollution Foundation. This foundation like can you see I've totally used it up like I need to buy a new tube of this ASAP. Uh, I did do a separate video on this foundation and I did like it a lot even in that video but I did say that it's not very camera friendly. I don't see it being photographed very well but the fact is that I did travel with this foundation to South Africa. I did travel with this and Fenty Beauty but I ended up using this only. I did not use the Fenty foundation at all in South Africa. I was just using this because it's so easy to blend. Firstly, it comes in a squeezy tube. Very, very easy to carry and travel with the Fenty foundation. The pump got spoiled in the uh, air travel of South Africa and this one was intact, did not leak, nothing at all. And the best part is that it blends super fast, super quick and so looks flawless uh, and does not take a lot of time to blend. So, you know, when you're going out, you're traveling, you're on a time crunch, you need to do your makeup quickly if you want to glam for your photos. So. This foundation was a total favorite on South Africa and so I even, I even traveled with it to Pondicherry and I loved it even then and that's why it's like totally over because you know when you're traveling with a makeup product that makeup product has your heart you will not travel with anything you're dicey about so yes this foundation total hit photographs well you can travel with it the squeezy tube is very practical and you get a good amount in this product I've used a lot of this the whole formula is good and it's also good for acne prone sensitive skin because I don't see this breaking me out the formula is very lightweight and lets your skin breathe but at the same time gives you full coverage and it's also just $7.99 or something in that price range so it's not very heavy on the pocket so I highly recommend the Nykaa foundation and the next foundation I love and I've mixed both of these in on my face right now. The next one is the NYX Total Drop Control. I did this uh, 
review video back in like in the OG days when I just started my channel. I reviewed this on my channel and I loved the foundation even then. And I love it even today. I actually ran out of one entire bottle because you get a very tiny amount for the price of this. But since I love it so much, I ended up buying another bottle of this. And let me tell you, this is a dupe of the Fenty Beauty Foundation. So since it's a dupe and since I can't get hold of Fenty very easily since it's not available in India, I decided to go ahead and buy my second bottle of the NYX Total Drop Control and I'm again halfway through this also. I really love it for festivals and weddings and all of that because it's so breathable, so lightweight yet full coverage and again photographs very well. So I love using this for that. You can't travel with it because it's a glass bottle and you can like break it and travel but it's great for like occasions and events because it will give you flawless coverage and not make your skin look very cakey or heavy with makeup. Since we are on the topic of foundations, I want to mention two beauty blenders that came to me in PR in the year 2019. This is by the company Plume and Co. And can you see how dirty these are? Just a proof of how much I've used them. Both these sponges are really, really great quality. But the favorite, my personal favorite, is this one. Uh, this has a perfect shape. This part of it is perfect for blending your uh, concealers, placing your powders, and the the butt end of this is very good for foundation blending. Overall, I love the quality of the sponge. It's super soft. I washed, I've washed this so many times. I, I absolutely love how this blends your foundation and your makeup and does not take a lot of product inside it. It's available on Amazon. It's available on their website. And I will, of course, leave the links in the description section. But I highly, I want to give a shout out to this company because these are new and upcoming brands in India. They are home brands. Brands, they are indie small brands and I really want to be encouraging such brands which are coming out with great quality products and I think if we are investing our money we should do it in such products which will be beneficial for both them as well as us. So I really really recommend these sponges. Next diving into concealers of 2019, two favorite concealers. One I'm being a little biased with because I just started using it uh, like two to three days back and I have fallen in love with it. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. I got it because I wanted to do a full face of makeup under 500 where I'm still acquiring products for that video so it will take some time for that video to go up. But this concealer totally has my heart. I used it in a preview in the IGTV video I just put up today. Also, if you're not following me on Instagram, you should follow me there as well. And this concealer blends so easily. It's a perfect shade, the shade medium deep tan. Medium or deep tan suits me really well. It has a perfect yellow pink undertone, so it corrects the darkness under your eyes and also blends beautifully. I've used just this underneath my eyes and on the high points of my face. And I love how easy to blend it is. It does not cake up and it does not crease and just everything beautiful about this concealer. Also, it's super lightweight and photographs very well because I also used it to a recent wedding. So since I've started using this concealer, I've not been able to keep it down. So I did have to mention it in this video. It's a recent favorite, but it definitely is a favorite of 2019. And also not to forget that it's just 299 bucks. So you should definitely get your hands on this. The next concealer I want to mention is the Pax Spotlight Liquid Concealer. Now this particular concealer is heavy. It's a more full coverage. It's I think a dupe of the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer because it's super super full coverage and the only negative I want to say about this one is that it dries very quickly. Like you have to do one eye at a time, one under eye at a time, one high point at a time and take your time to blend. This takes a little longer to blend in the Wet n Wild Concealer but gives you flawless full coverage. Again, there's not crease and stays put for really really long so if you're going for events if you're going for weddings you want to prefer this concealer the wet n wild one is more of an everyday uh, everyday concealer i would say but i have also used it to weddings but the back one is heavy on under the eyes so you might just want to use it for events and special occasions both of these concealers are very affordable that one is a little more expensive it's on the 750 range and that's 299 so whichever one you prefer you can go ahead and get that i love both of these concealers and i've used the pack one a lot more than i've used the wet n wild one so i had to put it in this video okay i just want to be honest and say i have no new powder i've been loving my powder is still the laura mercier holy grail translucent setting powder this one is it for me 
this i've been using this since two years it was even in my last year's favorites video and i've not like it's not over yet and there's a lot more left and i'm i use it so so carefully because i don't want to run out of this it's very expensive but also totally worth every single penny i paid for it because it blurs out your skin so beautifully your skin looks face tuned with it your under eyes look so smooth so soft and photographs so well just everything about this powder even if somebody comes home to get their makeup done by me i use this on them i use this on literally everyone and myself because it is one shade that suits everyone so if you if you want to get your hands on something luxury in makeup i highly recommend getting a good translucent setting powder and a good foundation if you are investing in these two products really well and if you have an under eye problem then a good concealer as well your makeup will definitely look flawless so yeah the laura mercier powder still has to be it even for the year 2019 and let's see in 2020 if a new powder blows my socks away but for now this is it Okay, for bronzer, I want to quickly mention that there is no new favorite. The bronzers I use, the ColourPop and the NYX, are still my favorites. But I did discover the Ofra bronzer. This does not have any shade on it. It's a single bronzer that came as a free, a uh, goodie item to me since I ordered a lot of stuff on Ofra. And this bronzer has a perfect undertone to it. It does have some shimmer particles, but it gives you such a beautiful glow. It's the bronzer I have on my skin right now. I love how it looks. It gives me that perfect beachy tan, but at the same time looks so chiseled, carved out, and gives you a glow to the skin. Just everything about this bronzer is amazing. And since we are on the topic of Ofra as well as glow, let's not forget the highlighter that blew my socks in 2019. It's the Ofra. mini highlighter in rodeo drive who is messaging me so much <sighs> okay so where was i the ofra mini highlighter in the shade rodeo drive now this highlighter is gorgeous this is what's on my skin right now looks beautiful looks beautiful on camera in photos as well as in person blends it so seamlessly into your skin you can make it look really really blinding because it's not for the faint hearted and it It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous highlight. I love everything about this. The only thing is that the formula is so soft. It's super soft that just one time use and the next time it was shattered to a million pieces. This, literally, this is what heartbreak feels like because I really love the packaging and the whole spiral going on on the packaging of the pan of the highlighter and it shattered. I really want to purchase a new one. I'm just going to try to make maximum use of this and then go ahead and get a big. Bigger size of this highlighter because it's absolutely beautiful. Yes, it is very, very expensive. This is fifteen hundred for the small size. I think the big size is three thousand or two thousand nine hundred. But it's super expensive. But I still feel it's worth it. Am I crazy? Maybe I am. This is a super, super inexpensive blush. This is the blush I've been loving lately. Uh, once again, I bought this with the Wet n Wild concealer. This is the Wet n Wild. Color icon blush in the shade Mellow Wine. This is very very similar to the ColourPop Tulip to Quit blush, which I use in almost all my videos and have raved about it in 2018 and also used it in 2019. But this one, since I got it, it's super super close to that color. And since it's easily available in India, I want to put this in today's video. I used it a couple of times and it's very long lasting. I love the color. This is what's on my cheeks right now. It's a very nice uh, blush pink color, pink with a nude undertone. Looks very good on dusky skin and also stays put for a really long time. And it is super pigmented, so you have to go in with a light hand. Yes, this pan has also crashed completely. It crashed from the minute I bought it home. I'm not really that irresponsible with my makeup. But do I do have a lot of stuff that like keeps going around my jaw, so maybe it cracks in my jaw. Maybe I'm just rough with my makeup. Just whatever it is, this crap. Okay. So diving into eyeshadows, the first one I want to talk about is Dose of Colors Desi X K T Fencation Palette. Now this palette, I don't know when did I get it. Did I get it this year or last year? But it had my heart the entire year. I've attended so many weddings. I've go, I've travelled with this to South Africa. I did not travel with it to Pondicherry. Yes, one of the shades in this palette is cracked, and that's why I'm not. Like I'm very carefully gonna open it. Um, the beautiful, gorgeous blue shade in this eyeshadow palette is cracked. But look at the other shades; they are beautiful, you guys. Every single shade in this palette has my heart. Totally has my heart. 
Even the mats on my eyelid right now, the mats are blended in are the mats from this eyeshadow palette. And the mats are so buttery, so smooth to blend and the shimmers are gorgeous. They are like pressed pigments. They are very, very beautiful. Nothing you must have ever felt before. And I will insert a photo over here. This is my most liked photo on Instagram. This makeup was highly requested, the tutorial was highly requested and the tutorial is with the blue in this eyeshadow palette which is shattered and so it's all over my fingers. Uh, that's the blue I have on here, this is the palette I've used over here. So I love love this eyeshadow palette, everything about this is gorgeous, each and every pan is amazing and I love using this eyeshadow palette and if it's still available on any of the Indian Instagram pages or on the Dose of Colors website, you should definitely get your hands on this. Especially if you're someone who does makeup only for like weddings or special occasions, you might really find this as an investment because it's very good to use on such occasions. And a little on the cheaper side is the Colourpop Cute AF palette. Yes, this was also in my previous 2018 video and yes again, it is in my 2019 video because it's a basic essential palette. Just look at it, how dirty it is. This is how much I've used it. I've, I'm like hitting pan on some of these shades because that's how much I use it. Uh, it's very, very easy to travel with. This is what I travel with to Pondicherry. Throw it in your purse and you're good to go. Uh, the mattes blend very easily. The shimmers are also really good in this palette. And the colors are your everyday colors with a nice pop of yellow and orange going on here and there which you can like play around with your makeup. So yeah, it's a good everyday girl palette. Yes, I'm mentioning both eyeshadow palettes which are not available in India. They are available abroad but I really feel the Indian market has to step up their game with eyeshadow palettes for me to be able to mention them in my favourites videos. Like these are makeup products that I cannot live without. Like I need them. I can get rid of every other makeup but not this. So Indian eyeshadow palettes, even though Nykaa eyeshadow palettes are good, the, the new ones are still not that great that I would mention them in my hits of 2019. The next eye product I want to mention is the K-Beauty Kajal. Now I did not try anything from K-Beauty yet. I really have to dive into each and every product one at a time. But the first product I bought from them is the K-Beauty Kajal and I did actually really really like this. I highly highly recommend this Kajal. Number one, it's very very cheap. It's only 250 bucks and I got it on discount for 220 and it's a highly pigmented Kajal. It does not burn your eyes, it does not uh, sting my eyes, make my eyes red and my eyes are very very sensitive. So this is great for sensitive eyes and it's very pigmented and does not spread at all. So it does not bleed and make your eyes look like raccoon eyes even at the end of the day. Six, seven hours and you'll still see this on your waterline which is something to say because my eyes are very watery and if some kajal is not suiting me or even if a kajal is suiting me, after a few hours it will start to spread and then give me raccoon eyes. So I stopped using kajal in between. I was only using eyeliner but this particular kajal doesn't do that. It's very soft, very smooth, very buttery, very pigmented glides on super easy and I've also put it on the top um, top lid and blended it out with the eyeshadow to give it that quick smoky eye look that's all I've done to my eyes like put two matte browns and this kajal on the lash line so it's super super easy to use for mascara I'm quickly gonna mention that I have no new mascara that has blown my socks in 2019 my old favorite is the Essence Lash Princess Mascara and my L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara both are still my charmers this one is great but it's not available in India yet it's out of stock since forever and I get my hands on it from abroad wherever I travel or anybody else is traveling I try to tell them that if you see this grab all of it like when I went to South Africa there were three on the counter I grabbed all the three I've used both of them on my eyelashes and the L'Oreal Lash Paradise is great it's very very volumizing but the only disadvantage is that in India you only get the non washable the waterproof version and the waterproof version is very difficult to get off so if you're using the mascara for weddings and events it's great you should use the non washable version so that if you're crying at your sister's wedding then you won't have raccoon eyes but if you're using it for a daily basis then you should get a um, washable variant in a mascara that's what I prefer now whatever is your preference you can go for it but these are the two mascaras I love 
Since we are on the topic of lashes, I just wanted to give a quick shout out, a huge shout out to the brand Glomia Beauty. They are the eyelashes I use literally in every single one of my videos. I don't have any on my hand right now because they're all cramped up in my drawer and a huge mess because I use them that often. I use them in every single one of my videos. Plus when I'm going out, they give me exactly the right amount of drama that my lashes need plus they are such good quality every one of the eyelashes is handcrafted so beautifully and it's for free cruelty free vegan brand and it started up by a woman in India it's a startup company and they are doing really really well for themselves like for the quality of products that she provides and she's a very very sweet lady to speak to or uh, like you should definitely be supporting such companies because they are bringing some good quality makeup on the market and i highly recommend if you're looking for eyelashes you should try her brand out yes they are a little expensive for eyelashes but one single pair of eyelash will be a good investment for the entire year then i have one pair of lashes that i'm using since the start of the year so if you take good care of the lashes you'll be using them forever on the topic of eye products let's talk about the mini so eye pencil this is the mini so eyebrow pencil which is one of my favorites this is the shade 0 to dark brown on one side it comes with the brow pomade or the brow pencil and the other side it has this spoolie on it again i was traveling with this because it's very very like practical to travel with and it's very very smooth and soft um, formula this is what i have on my brows right now it's very easy to put on plus blend into your eyebrows looks very natural at the same time it's easy to use i also love their three-in-one eyeliner i also have that in my drawer somewhere i can't find it but yeah that is the new eyeliner that i have been loving i have the shade gray but it looks almost black and yeah the mini so eyebrow pencils the eyeliners and the pencil in general I highly recommend I did not like the mascara so much so that's why it was in the misses of 2019 video but the pencils are a few of my favorites that really surprised me in that video and I've been using it ever since for setting spray I have the makeup revolution illuminating pro fix setting spray I've realized that I do like my setting sprays to be more illuminating and dewy and that's why I love the NYX dewy finishing setting spray and I've recently loved like it's over uh, the revolution um, pro fix illuminating fixing spray because I like my foundation and everything to be super matte and then I love adding glow to my skin with a nice shiny setting spray so this one is really good it is um, a thousand bucks but you're getting a lot of product and a lot of quantity in it and it adds a lot of dewiness to your skin but does not make your skin look oily and makes your makeup last really really long since we are on the topic of eyes let's give a quick shout out to the pack cosmetics eye lenses that they sent to me in PR and I've been using and enjoying these ever since I use them for videos and when I'm going out uh, I have the ones in the shade brown in my eyes right now since I have really tiny eyes you can't really always tell when I'm wearing lenses but if you're up close and like in person with me you can identify that yes I'm wearing lenses uh, I have put the shade blue, grey and brown and my favourites are all three I love all the three colours and I love how they look on me plus they have so many colours like they have a wide variety of colours not the same old boring colours and also they are very very natural looking so they only cover the iris of your eyes and not make your eyes look very like you know yeah you put lenses you it looks so natural that somebody who's never seen you might think that's the color of your eye and i really enjoyed using them in 2019 because i was never into the colored contact business i was never using colored contacts ever but since they sent this to me and i started using them i love using it and i think after i run out of these these are the disposable ones you can only wear them once and dispose them off uh, since I have been disposing a lot of these and once I run out of all of them I'm going to go ahead and buy more for myself because I really enjoyed using them Okay, let's dive into lipsticks You know I love talking about my lipsticks and my favorite lipsticks for the year are um, five Five, just five, I just have five Okay, so the first lipstick I want to talk about is the Smashbox liquid lipstick in the shade Bows. This is the always on liquid lipstick in the shade Bows. This is the first one I got from the liquid lipstick range and the shade I have on my lips right now is the shade Disorderly which I literally purchased day before yesterday from Sephora. So these are the two lipsticks I have in this range and I love 
both of them. I love this color and I love Bows because it's an amazing red color for dusky skin plus it's superwoman shade and I love superwoman so yeah. All in all, it's an amazing color. But apart from the colors, this formula is super good you guys. It's amazing. It's so lightweight, so so super long lasting. I've eaten my entire like heavy mutton curry lunch after putting the lipstick and it's still right there and I eat like a savage. So you can like you know that's something to say that these lipsticks last through a hurricane and they are so comfortable at the same time plus do not dry your lips everything about this formula is great the next lipstick I want to talk about is something I've raved in every single lipstick video in 2019 and those are the Nautica Ultra Mats. I discovered these, I think this is about 2019 launch but I discovered this in 2019 and let me tell you these are form.com like this lipstick is the lipstick for me when it comes to bullet lipsticks right now like I want to get more shades I just have three and I think in 2020 I'm going to buy a lot more shades than this lipstick and then recommend them to y'all but I highly highly recommend this it's not expensive it's somewhere around 600 700 bucks and the formula oh my god the formula it's better than MAC it's as good as Smashbox and it's super super good it's actually even better than Smashbox it's super matte it's ultra matte just like the name suggests it's ultra matte and it uh, stays on for really really long so for an everyday basis it's great because you won't need to touch it up and even through your food and everything it will last on your lips and not just a tint but actual lipstick this is what I say in every one of my videos but I mean it and they have beautiful shades to offer so everything about this lipstick is my favourite and this did definitely blow my socks in 2019 because I did not expect a drugstore company or a like a local company and that would Nykaa to come out with such a good lipstick formula so yeah this one is it for me like 2020 if some lipstick has to compete with this you've got to try really really hard okay so the next lipstick is the NYX lip lingerie in the shade exotic this is my second tube of the lipstick should say something how much I love it I love 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 this lipstick I use it on a daily basis it's mostly in my bag it has a very nice moussey consistency but dries down matte does not dry your lips at all and the color is beautiful very gorgeous if you want to see swatches of all of this I have a lot of lipstick videos on my channel where I'm doing swatches and if I add swatches to this video then it's gonna be a hundred years long so yeah this lipstick is beautiful a very good uh, brick red undertone nude a very nice warm nude color which suits dusky skin girls very well bare skin without any makeup and that's why i love it for daily use the next lipstick i want to mention is the hora beauty spice girl liquid lipstick i love this color it's super good i have the mini version i want to get the big one once i run out of this one i'm going to get the full size because i love this color i use it for daily wear as well as for like really good occasions because it's long lasting it's super comfortable so you can use it every day as well as for events and the color is so unique it's a vampy dark brown but it's not super vampy that you can't wear it to college you can definitely wear it to college or office and looks very good on bare skin on dusky skin girls so if you're dusky skin i would highly recommend you check out the shade spice girl i really really love this color and the last lipstick i want to mention is the nika Manalicious lip crayon in the shade jade rose beautiful color absolutely Absolutely beautiful color. I want to get a new one as well because I've run out of this. It's like very little is left. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous color. It's very close to NYX Exotic, but since it's a crayon, it's even more comfortable than NYX Exotic, but not that long lasting because it's again a crayon. Uh, but it's a gorgeous, very comfortable formula. I've been enjoying this in the winters because in winters my lips are very dry and I don't feel like using liquid lipstick. So I use this because the color is beautiful. It's again a red brick undertone nude and looks very flashy on dusky skin girls as the formula of the Nykaa crayons is very very good. So yeah, I really like this one as well. And the last product of this video or this super super long video is the Soul Body Shimmering Dry Body Oil. This is what I have on my skin right now and I've been loving and enjoying using this since the time I got my hands on it. It's like literally a shimmer in a bottle 
but it has oil in it and that's why it makes your skin very smooth so when i'm wearing dresses my legs are very dry and they look very very dead and like the dead skin really shows so if i put this i don't have to put moisturizer because the oil moisturizes your skin super well and the shimmer adds an amazing natural glow to your feet and your legs and your hands and your clavicle and all of that it just looks like you look like a glowing goddess if you apply this and i've got the shade bronze so it goes very well with my skin tone and by this i complete the video of my favorites of 2019 with this i close out 2019 on my youtube channel and the last favorites i want to mention for this video is you guys for me you all are my favorites of 2019 you know the sole and whole reason i'm doing youtube i'm continuing to do youtube even after everything that comes in my way it's very difficult for me to balance everything yes you all keep asking me how i do it but sometimes even i question myself how i'm doing it because it takes a toll on my health it takes a toll on my family time my family life and everything sometimes but i still continue to do it i'm not getting any big money or any pr or huge brands approaching me you all see me i'm always buying and complaining how much i've bought and then reviewing that for you all so i'm living still on the basic category of youtubers but i'm still enjoying my time here because of you all you all give me so much love on every one of my videos you all make me feel missed when i miss a single video and even when i go away for my exams you all wish me luck and tell me to do well and then come back to youtube so everything all in all you all are the whole and soul reason i'm here and thank you for sticking by me thank you for making this family grow even bigger with time and this was the year last time when i made the uh my coming back video because i had taken a 6 month leave because of my health and today last year exactly today i uploaded my last year's favorites video and today i'm uploading this year's and this entire year i was able to be as consistent as possible and luckily alhamdulillah my health did not take a toll so praise god and thank you for everything you all have done for me in 2019 continue to support me and continue to share your love with me and i will continue to share good content honest content on my channel let's keep this platform very healthy and happy always like you all have kept it till now and let's keep it all about the good vibes and end 2019 on a very very happy note and i hope and pray that 2020 is great for all of us and brings us a lot of new luck love and happiness and i will see you all in my next video in 2020 bye guys love you all mwah